So we're here at Yeti and this is Derek. He is uh, one of the head designers. He actually is also uh, one of my old schoolmates, right? Yeah. San Francisco days. Art Academy. Yeah, Art Academy. So uh, yeah, we just rocked up and just ran into each other here. So he's given us an opportunity to go around Yeti and um, tell us a bit about the products he has designed or helped design. So uh, they've got a full team. How many, how many uh, guys on your team? So right now we've got about seven designers. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Nice little studio there in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Um, you're like the head on right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of the senior designers there, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, I mean, just what what is the design ethos behind a lot of the Yeti stuff? I mean, like, what do you guys what do you guys shoot for? I know it's like on your car, which you guys can see, uh, built for the while, which yeah. is I thought was a pretty sweet slogan. So. Yeah, no, for sure. That's that's really what it comes down to. Uh, all of our product is, is really purpose built, it's super functional, super durable, and all of this stuff really has to last outside. Um, we're really building tools for sportsmen, people that are you know, outdoorsmen, and uh, you know they put these products to the ringer. So yeah, we build it to last. So yeah, I mean, yeah. like you can see, like they utilitarian, basically, right? For sure. So let's check check out the. Uh, So this is probably our flag, one of our flagship products. This is the uh, slide <laughs> It's like backpack attached. This is the, the Tundra cooler. This is one of the Damn, this is the original dude. product. It's a roto molded cooler. Uh, super durable. You can see the design at all. Roto molded. <laughs> Everybody else is like, what? <laughs> Uh, so you guys do a lot of hard goods and you also do the soft goods stuff, right? I'm assuming that's soft. Yeah, this is. This is. And so uh, yes. we had a lot of success with the, uh, the hard cooler. And so we uh, we delved into the, the world of soft tools. It's a lot lighter. Uh, you know, if you wanted to take it around, it's a lot easier to transport. But, uh, you know, maybe you don't need to keep ice for days. Maybe, yeah. Or for seven days, maybe it's only like a couple of days. But, um, so is that like literally keep ice cold for like seven, like, you know? De depending on how you pack it, depending on where you are, depending on what you're putting on, um, you could have ice for multiple days. No doubt about that. That's crazy. Yeah. So at least keep stuff cold. I mean, yeah. you keep it stuff ice, ice cold, ice. That's crazy. And so with the soft product, uh, if you see there in the back over there, the larger one, that's the hopper flip. We started with that product, and then we've grown the product category out. So that's an entire line. Let's go take a check. Yeah. Let's see. Can we wait? This is cool too. I want to. Uh, yeah. Which is actually our own right? Yeah, so yeah. so we started. Well, this is a, a redesign, but we started with this product. It's uh, it's got a fully waterproof zipper. Um, it's got TPU laminated nylon welded. So it's basically the same. TPU is basically the same stuff. Yeah. yeah. Super super durable. Um, we started with this, and then we blew out the lines. These uh, these smaller ones. These are called. This is the Hopper Flip line. We've got uh, 12 port, 18 port, and an 8 um, and they're all pretty much the same, just different, different form factors. Uh, we've got an accessory. This is a, a new product we're launching as well. This is a waterproof just gear bag. That's <laughs> so cool. Uses a magnetic closure. Oh, like super cool. Sexy, dude. Yeah. So um, you can see, like, just design that's gone into this. So, tell me, why are they called the Hopper? Is there like a reason on that? Just, I mean, I know with a lot of our designs, I mean, this is the Bula, which is Sean name, but uh, we got like, you know, we'll just sit around and be like, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, right? You know, I can't remember the original story for the Hopper, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a cool name, that's why I'm wondering. Yeah. And then you guys have got the... Uh, yeah, we've got a, a whole big line of stainless. That started out, uh, you can see over there, some of the colored stuff. Okay, cool. started out in just tumbler and drink layer. Oh, really? Um, and then that's slowly blown up into the bottle line and then into the jug line. This is, you know, speaking of magnets, this also has a magnet to stow the, to stow the cap. So. so check that out. Watch this. So that's yeah. that's how you don't lose stuff. 
Yeah, so we've got two different sizes. We've got a one gallon and a half gallon. And this is vacuum insulated, double wall steel. Super Ooh, durable. Super heavy. But you could, yeah, you can take that down to the beach. Yeah. And you could have ice cold water after a day. I mean, yeah, at the it's beach. super heavy in a good way. It's like, this is either it's just going to be light. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, and you can check out this hockey puck of a lid, and that's, that's, that's filled with insulation as well. Right. So if this thing's laying on its side, you're not losing any insulation. Look at like that. Uh, so cool. Anything else you want to show us? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, Yeti started out with the, with the hard cooler and, you know, the Tundra here. Uh, then we moved into the soft cooler, and then we took the expertise that we we knew from both of those products, and we actually moved into an uninsulated product. And if you can see here, they're actually next to each other. You know, we've got the loadout bucket, which is uninsulated cargo, and then here we've got a welded bag that uses really similar um, technology and material package uh, as our soft cooler, but it's just dry storage. I think it's yeah, like it's unreal. This would be an awesome, like, um, so it's fully submersible bag, totally airtight, seal. It's got uh, aluminum hardware, super durable. It's got removable straps. So you can quickly take these things off and stash them inside if you wanted to. So cool. Boom. And then you've got this really clean bag that you can lash down. It's gorgeous. We've got guys that, uh, um, and gals that will actually take these out and tow them while they go out spearfishing. Really? And they'll have some of their gear in there and they can, they'll use it as a buoy as it's out. What? Yeah, because it's fully waterproof, yeah. fully submersible. That, I mean, this is like, this is awesome. So this is the 75 liter. We've got a 50 liter and a 100 liter. As well. How much does something like this run for? So I'm kind of far away from the retail, but I think this is like 2.99. Uh, it's like not bad for what you're getting. Yeah. Like this thing is like, can you imagine all your wetsuits and stuff? I need something like this for wetsuits. <laughs> Maybe this is two fifty. The fifty is is one ninety nine, and the hundred is two ninety nine. I think that's how it breaks out. Cool, man. Well, I know is this uh, anything else? I think that pretty much rounds it out. Yeah. Um, so there we have it from uh, from the designer himself. So uh, yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah. Really appreciate it. It's like awesome uh, seeing Derek again. What's it been like? Ten years. Yeah, now. Almost ten years. Yeah, maybe a little over ten years. Yeah, a little over ten years. So uh, we get to meet here at Surf Expo. And, uh, thanks very much for taking us through the Yeti uh, the inside scoop on the inside. Doing the problem, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah.